play. You'll see a lot We're going to continue to have a strong safety who is Adams down in the nickel or down in the in the box. And there's Lamar Jackson. Come on. He was juke. And we're out. What a play by Lamar Jackson. What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Madden 24 franchise video with the Seattle Seahawks. This time, we are up against the Baltimore Ravens. This is a matchup that I am absolutely dreading. Not the best matchup for us. The Ravens, they are beasts. And of course, because we're on the road, we're going to go ahead and play all Madden difficulty. Now, we barely scraped by against the Cardinals, if I recall, and we had a pretty easy game after the first half against the Cleveland Browns. I'm hoping we have somewhat of a same outing up against the Baltimore Ravens, who are 6-2 and two in the season. If we really want to make a, a strong playoff push, these are the games we have to win, these tough games. And as you can see, the Ravens have an 88 overall and most of their categories, with the exception of their offense. And we have a overall of 81 as a team. Our defense is pretty dang good. Viewing our weekly awards last week, Leonard Williams had himself a pretty good game. For Force the fumble, three sacks, and six tackles. He was all over the place. Well deserved. We have a breakout defensive back who is Jamal Adams, and I'm really hoping that we get him over to a superstar dev trait because I'm a big Jamal Adams fan. I know he hasn't been the greatest in real life. I'm hoping that we can go ahead and get him that superstar dev trait. I really do think that he's an X factor when healthy. We also got Ken Walker, who can potentially be a superstar. I'm hoping that we can go ahead and get the two. 200 rush yards and receiving yards total with him and see if we can go ahead and do that for him that would be tremendous if we can do that and finally the breakout quarterback i don't think that geno smith is great enough to become a breakout player and become a superstar i don't see him as a long-term answer to be honest and i don't think that we're gonna stick with them after this season so the goal throw one or fewer interceptions and have 300 scrimmage yards or three total touchdowns with Geno Smith. With that in mind, we're going to go ahead and focus on getting Ken Walker because he is part of our future. And we're going to try to increase the depth rate to Jamal Adams. If we can do that, that would be great. If not, that's not going to be the best thing for us. We are past week eight, and that means we're going to go ahead and develop some players. So I'm going to do that on my own time really quick. Wake up and beg up this year, jump out the crib, stack up my Ceno this year, killing my ego this year, all for the people this year, only believe in the real, I do believe in no fear, and I got gang in this bitch, I never switch on the tribe, I keep it all the way real, I'm in control of my feels, you see my highlights, they study my real, yeah. I'm showing more love this year, running more plays, finna scale up my business this year. The world in my palm, I'm a star, I deliver my cadence, I'm serving up chills to my peers, bringing the bread for the fam. Everything good on his side. Everything coming together. Taking a look at both teams, the top threat is obviously going to be Lamar Jackson, who is a threat on the ground, and he is the threat with his arm. We're going to try to contain Lamar Jackson. I don't know how successful we're going to be, considering he's a 99 overall. Stupid crazy, if you ask me. Offensively, we are um, average. Offensively, we are terrible. We're the 27th best offense in the league, and the Ravens are number eight. They have the number six in pass touchdowns, their 17th in rush yards touchdowns, and their fourth in giveaways. We both take care of the ball um, pretty efficiently. Now, third down conversions, they convert 53% of the time, ranking number 10 in the league. And our defense is where we have the advantage. We have the seventh overall defense in the league. Looking over the injury report, we're pretty beat up. We have Daryl Taylor, who's out with broken ribs. He's a death piece. We have Charles Cross, our starting left tackle, out with a dislocated elbow. Derek Hall, also a depth piece, out for two weeks. And DK Metcalf, our X-Factor wide receiver, is out with an abdominal tear for at least three weeks. We're not placing any of these guys in the injury reserve. It, I don't think it's totally necessary. The Ravens, on the other hand, are pretty healthy. What we're going to go ahead and do in this game, we got to try to limit and contain Lamar Jackson. So with that being said and done, we're going to try to contain the quarterback scramble. We can go ahead and do that. We'll be perfectly fine. I don't know why Tyler Huntley is there, but hey, to each their own. And then um, offensively, what we're going to go ahead and do, we're really going to try to run the ball inside, but we really want to do... We want to go ahead and throw it short, get the, the pressure off of Geno Smith along with the run game. So if we can go ahead and do that, that would be perfect. Lamar Jackson is one of the front runners when it comes to the MVP. 
we have to try to limit him as much as possible is it gonna happen i don't know if it will to be honest with you but hey we're gonna try he's having himself a pretty good season he's only allowed two interceptions with his passes and 15 pass touchdowns which is pretty dang good 1700 yards in the air and to add insult to injury for us at least 73 carries 302 rush yards that's 2000 yards by himself already one rushing touchdown their rushing touchdown department isn't super concerning gus edwards is obviously their red zone threat we want to watch him when he's on the field and yards wise devin singletary is leading the pack along with lamar jackson they're pretty much even which is pretty dang crazy so we really got to watch out for them and then offensively when it comes to the air we got to watch out odell bateman and zay flowers zay flowers is low-key underrated these two are leading the pack as far as receptions this defense is stacked they got Jadavion Clowney we got Patrick Queen who is also a stud on that defense Michael Pierce Roquan Smith is a beast in that that team as well superstar x-factors Lamar Jackson with his trust ability is obviously one that we want to watch out for and aside from that he has fast break improved blocking on design quarterback runs quick draw is also stupid broken on him and then uh, tied out with Mark Andrews is going to be really crazy Reinforcement is going to be one that we want to look out for when it comes to pounding the football, especially running it towards Rokon Smith. And Mark Andrews, the tight end, is one that we really got a double team. He is going to be a matchup nightmare, and that's no pun intended when it comes to his ability. Marlon Humphrey, we already mentioned him. He's going to be a stud, and it's going to be super hard to go up against him. And then Ronnie Stanley, one that I didn't mention, the star left tackle for the Ravens. We're going to be super hard to get pressure on Lamar Jackson and when they run to the left that's going to be a problem for us it's week nine of the National Football League and we're watching the longtime star Bobby Wagner who really led his defense last week with a 10 tackle game it's the Seahawks and the Ravens and it's all up next With Chesapeake Bay gleaming in the distance, we are inside m and Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. Today, it's a Week 9 matchup. We are all set to go, as it'll be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And Charles, you look at this Raven team as they get ready here. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners of four of their last six games. And they looked awfully good last week and came away with a two-touchdown victory. They did have a few reasons for concern defensively, but all in all, they'll take a repeat here if they could get it. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Seahawks, they come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. And the offense, my goodness, over 50 points in the win last weekend. When you do that, you're not going to lose very many games, maybe not any games. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. And they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. Okay, so this is going to be a really, really tough game for us. And actually, Ken Walker is already a superstar. we got to watch out and see if we can go ahead and get him a X-Factor dev trait. No wonder we have to try to get 200 plus yards with him. That's going to be a very big challenge. Um, I don't think we're going to go ahead and try to get the ground game going right away. What we want to do is get the pass game, catch that um, Ravens defense a little bit off guard, and open up the run game. We're stacking the box just a little bit, see if we can go ahead and get the short pass game going. We got Ken Walker open, couldn't fake out the defender, and we lose to yards. Geno Smith is injured for, and he's out for at least a play. Lamar Jackson is out on the field, and he's going to pose a big problem for us. That's the run he keeps. We're going to continue to try to leverage and put some... Uh, we're going to try to contain Lamar Jackson as much as we could. I don't think that's something we can do realistically, but hey. Dave Flowers, gain of six. That's a pretty good gain, not a bad one. 
Hey, shout out to Mike McDonald. The new Seahawks head coach. I'm super excited about that hire, man. Oh, look at this. Big block. And there is Edwards. This is going to be a tough offense to contain. See if we can go ahead and contain that run game a little bit. Look, another good block. Back to back, really big gains on the ground. We don't know what hit us. There you go. That'll make up for it. We're going to go with the 3 4 defense one more time. Cover three and see if we can stop the pass here. There's Lamar Jackson. Oh, and good stop by Nwosu. Geno Smith is out for a few plays with the hit pointer. He's going to be out at least for this half. Don't know if he'll return. And with DK Mecca out, look at this. Drop pass. But a good breakup by Smith. We're going to continue to try to get the short pass game going. Oh, look, Ken Walker. That's a big one. This puts us in a really good position to convert on the third down here. See if we can get the hit. There you go. There you go. We got the run, and we hit him right in the middle for a first down. The mic is going to be Roquan Smith over on the right. See if we can run it to the right. And a pretty good block. And it's a fumble. Oh, that's a big loss. I can't believe we just fumbled right there, Walker. Come on now. You want to be an X Factor? Knock that ball clean. That looked down. And now before the ball changes hands, they're gonna take a look at this just to make sure that they have Lucky for us, this turns into a booth review. And he looked down. Was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn? Yeah, that's down. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one. Gave us the ball back. We'll take it. All right, here we go. We're gonna put Zach Charbonnet on the right hand side. See if we can get a block from him. Okay, here we go. Jake Bobo might be open here. There you go. That's a good one. And that was a good pass. And Abe Lucas is also down with an injury. See if we can push this uh, this defense, get the Crows play going. Lock, open right here. Nick Ballore gets the first down. Good stuff. We are in field goal range. We cannot really afford to go... Um, and take a sack or even do anything crazy here like like that Lockie gets it the stack in the box I want to see if we can try to fake him out with the play action and get the ball over to Will Disley who's had a pretty good season if you ask me he's blocked right oh that's a that's a pick oh come on we were in field goal position right there and we just threw the pick Okay, second and six. We're gonna stack the box just a tad. Now it's Jackson. My turn, baby. Let's get it. We got that pick. One of the game plan goals has been accomplished. That was a beautiful pick. Threw it right to me, and Bobby Wagner came in clutch with that pick. Okay, here we go. We're going to try to get him in rhythm, play action this time. Here's one. JSN again. Big grab. JSN is stepping up on this drive. Let's see if we can go ahead and keep that up. Oh, we got sacked. Davion Clowney came in humming on that play from the right side. Let's take a look at that again. This should be a gimme for Mike Myers. There you go. That's a flag. Did we get a late hit? That's the first down for us. We're going to go ahead and take advantage of the run game. The box is really stacked. Nothing in our favor, but we truck number 14. That was a pretty good one. Let's see if we can get Jake Bobo down in the middle. He's open. There you go. And he's in for that touchdown, baby. 
Jake Bobo with his first career. That was a really good route run by Jake Bobo. He's a really underrated wideout. Pretty good slot wide receiver, if you ask me. He just beats. trip to the end zone, and I think it's safe to say one he'll always remember. Oh, without a doubt, that one is going to be imprinted forever. And nowadays, we're seeing rookies mix. Oh, that's it. Got that tackle. Good stuff. Quandra Diggs has been all over the field this afternoon. Cover three clouds. See what we could do here. We're going to protect the sticks. And we're going to predict the pass here. This got to be a pass. Oh, that's a good throw. What a throw by Lamar Jackson. Just gets it in a tight window and gets OBJ in. That's the end of the first quarter. So far, back and forth game by this Ravens team and the Seahawks team. Score is 7 3. See if we can get cover two spy or cover one spy. My apologies. See if we can do anything with this. And Jackson throwing once more. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, what are we doing? I did not see a switched user there, and I made I made Woolen look a little silly. I think that was Woolen on the left or spoon. Lamar Jackson's just simply ripping us apart, and we're gonna go ahead and shadow number 89, Mark Andrews here. See what we can do. Oh, that's in. Who else? Zay Flowers. He's just accelerated down the middle. Nwosu was there, but couldn't make a play. Dave Flowers just too fast for him there and goes in for the touchdown. Let's see what we could do here with the play action. Play action, Bobo. That's open. Good play by Jake Bobo and good throw by Drew Locke. Just hits the dime. Throws it right in the bucket. Let's see if we can look at this again. Vertical play. We're going to audible out of this. Go for the stick wheel. Will Disley is on X. And here comes Walker. Open. And third and inches. We're obviously going to go ahead and run it here. I don't want to risk throwing a pick or a tackle for loss here. So we're running the ball with Walker. And that's a decent game. 10-10 game. Considering the day that Edwards has had, it would not surprise me if they keep pounding this football on us. See if we can go ahead and press just a little bit. Oh, they got him wide open. That's Mark Andrews. Man, they're making us look silly here. So let's see what we can go ahead and do. This is going to be a run over to Lamar Jackson, and he gets nothing. We're containing him pretty well. We're going to continue to have a strong safety who is Adams down in the nickel or down in the in the box. And there's Lamar Jackson. Come on. He was juke. And we're out. What a play by Lamar Jackson. Here I thought we contained him well there for a second. And a big play by Lamar Jackson. A momentum. What is, what's going on with the ball there? But boy. Look at that. Number six, Quandre Diggs tries to make the tackle. Couldn't get Lamar Jackson. And a nice move. Breaks and run. Bobby Wagner tries to make the tackle. And we just couldn't catch up to Lamar Jackson. What a play. Worst case scenario for us. Oh, Ken Walker breaks a tackle. Unfortunately, we get caught up with, but we got an eight-yard game. Lamar Jackson has had himself a game on the ground so far. Let's see if we can stop him. Look at this. Guess that word. Seven rushes for 61 yards. He's had himself a pretty good game. Might be a run. See if we can pitch the D-line to go inside. Oh, look at this. Breakup by Bobby Wagner. We got lucky with that one. We're not converting as much as we would like. And we get stopped here. And I know you guys are probably mad about the run game that I'm calling here. But we really need to try to get pressure off of Drew Locke without Geno Smith. The opportunity and the probability for us to win this game is not is not there. It's not very high. See if we can go ahead and press A Flowers on the left. 
Might be a run. Yep, this is a pitch. Got a block, and I overshot it. Woolen tries to make a stop, but Edwards is too good. See if we can start putting just a tad pressure on Lamar Jackson, specifically when it comes to him passing the ball. And we just got picked. And guess who? Andrews makes a big gain here. Let's see if we can go ahead and get a stop here, especially before the second half. Oh, and that's a touchdown. Mark Andrews double teamed there for a second and still broke the defense. He gets the touchdown. And the Ravens will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Look at this. Just makes it look easy. Good pass and good throw by Lamar Jackson makes it look easy. And Mark Andrews is in for the touchdown. Let's see if we can go ahead and do anything. We don't want to force anything, but we do want to see what we can get here. We got Smith and Jigba. Good catch, and he's out of bounds to stop the clock. See if we can get the ball over to Fans. Oh, wide open. Tighter lock it. He's in. Get field goal. We're in field goal range. Big play by Tyler Lockett. Nobody seemed to have covered him. He was wide open. They covered no offense. Three seconds left. We're obviously going to go ahead and take the field goal. Myers kick is good and that will do it for this first half. Not the greatest showcase for us in the first half. We had our opportunities on defense. I mean, Lamar Jackson ripped a big one. And they've just been dominating this game with both the pass game and the ground game. 145 each. Thank you very much. Hi again, everyone. Let's get you caught up with what's going on around the NFL as we are officially into the second half of the season. We'll get started up at Cleveland Browns Stadium in Cleveland. And it's the Browns who have the lead in the second quarter. The Browns still in a dogfight, but this would be a good victory for them if they could get it. From there, we head down south to Atlanta. Check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And you can see, currently, they trail in that ball game. Alexander Madison with a couple of touchdowns there. Finally, let's get up to the place they call Title Town, Green Bay, Wisconsin, to see what's happening with the Packers. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Cooper Cup, a touchdown reception. We saw a terrific first half from the dual threat quarterback, Lamar Jackson. He threw two touchdown passes, ran for another, as his guys have the lead at halftime. Come out to the 25. So here are the Ravens. Gus Edwards averaging nine they yards a carry. And man, as well as has he had himself a game. Start of the second half. And the Ravens just been very dominant. See what we can go ahead and do here. We're going to go ahead and focus on the medium pass now. This is a this is obviously a run, and we get a good stop. Hurt the average a little bit. This is a third down. Let's see if we can go ahead and convert here. I want to call Tyler Lockett on the slant, see if we can go ahead and pick something up here. They back off, but we got Nick Smith and Zigba wide open in a big gain. And a good third down conversion. See what we can go ahead and do here. I want to continue to put the run on the map and see what we can go ahead and do. And he's in. That's a first down. And JSN is out with an injury as well. This defense has been tough, and our wideouts have just—they can't stay healthy. Very thin on the wide receivers. Our wide routes have been taken to beating this game. Right here. Bobo makes a good catch. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Second and one. Let's see what we can go ahead and do here. Throwing is Smith. We don't really got anything, but Ken Walker's open. And that's a conversion right there. See if we can continue to keep this momentum. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game and there he picks up another first down whatever they saw going into this one they've been able to capitalize on it and no okay here we go to take it away. 
And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But just Let's see what we can go ahead and do here. We're going to run a screenplay with Zach Charbonnet wide open here. And he should have some blocks. Gets, oh, and he was right there. Let's see if we can go ahead and sneak in and try to get that get that touchdown with Ken Walker here we get it we get it he's in very disciplined play by the line and we were able to get Ken Walker going on the ground a statement drive for us and we are within range pretty good game so far back and forth and Ken Walker the effort there looked like he was going to be stopped but that heart man he has some heart and that made it in for the touchdown I think we got to go for two so we can try to make this a three-point game Ken Walker has to go in and he's in good stuff momentum killer for the Ravens okay here we go see what we can do here that's a sack baby let's get it like how they've started the third quarter here they force a punt on the first drive and after this sack it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well absolutely okay third and medium see what we can go ahead and do here they might keep uh nope Edwards is in Come on, put your hand up, Jackson. Man, Lamar Jackson there. He's, he's coming in clutch. Mark Andrews might go to the flat here, see what we can go ahead and do. And that was the wrong side. Man, conversion there. That was a tough game. That was a tough game for him to get the first down there. See if we can fake a blitz here. And they get the run. That's a big hole. Oh, come on. And that's Edwards is in for the touchdown. You couldn't stop him. Sloppy play there. Got a touchdown on the last drive, but the Ravens answered back with the touchdown of their own. We really need to try to get a stop. Good play. And Walker's in. He breaks a big one of his own. Okay. We have enough space to try to get the first down with the ground game here. Let's see what we can go ahead and do. They do shoot the gap, and Ken Walker breaks another good run. Play action cross. Let's see if we can try to get. Oh, oh, we just got hit. Hit as we pass, and this is a pick. This is just a good play. Oh, come on. What a play by that Ravens defense. And Geno Smith gets hit as he throws, and Patrick Queen picks the ball. Look at that. Man, this Baltimore defense has come to play. Okay, play action. Oh, that's a pick by, Bo by Brooks. Man, it's a pick after a pick. And <laughs> defense is playing their heart out. I know they've had some struggles against the run, but man. They've gotten the, some... They picked off uh, a quarterback who hasn't been picked off that much this year. Okay, let's see what we can go ahead and do here. Oh, another pick. That was just a pass. That's not good. I don't know what I did there. I panicked. Okay, let's see what we can go ahead and do here. We're going to put pressure on Lamar Jackson. Go man coverage here. And I know I'm putting a linebacker with the receiver, but come on. Oh, there it is. Oh, my God. That's back-to-back -back picks. Man, turnover fest. What a game it's been. Man, that was... <laughs> Take a look at this. That's a perfect timing user pick, and I literally just pressed Y when we cut him off. Just got lucky there. Where to go zone blitz here. We've been doing really good against Lamar Jackson. We've picked him off three times. I mean, that's an accomplishment of its own. Second and eight, and they've been driving thanks to the run game. Play action. 
And Zay Flowers took a big hit, but a good catch nonetheless. We're going to go inside in case they want to try to slant the ball, but this looks like it's going to be a run. See what we can go ahead and do here. But we just can't stop him. Gus Edwards in for the touchdown. The second of the game. With his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Ravens are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Let's see what we can go ahead and do here. Bobo open on the out route, and this is going to be a first down. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a... It's going to be probably a run. They're going to try to run the clock. There it is. Gus Edwards, who else? At least we got a three and out. They get him to the ground at the 26. Let's see what kind of looks we get. I want to try to go for it here. I don't know if we can. Let's see what we got. They'll run for it. It's Walker. And this Ravens defense knew exactly what we were trying to go for. Maybe we played a little bit too predictable, but man, at this point we kind of had to go for it. Let's see what we can do here. This is going to be a run. This is Lamar Jackson. Jamal Adams turn around. Look, here goes another play. Man. Lamar Jackson. Two big plays in this game. And we just can't, can't stop them. We're going to continue to stack the box. I mean, there's not a whole lot that we can do at this point. We're going to run it again. Oh, no, this is play action. There you go. Nwosu gets the sack. Again, that's a loss of six. Can't allow the touchdown because... Oh, that's a touchdown. I knew that was going to happen. I don't know why. I just had a gut feeling. This game is the nosebleed. That was a good play by Zay Flowers, though. Gets the separation, and Spoon just couldn't catch up. Man, we're just going to play predictable. I really want to go ahead and drain this clock at this point. There's not... There ain't no way we're coming back. I mean, we're down 24 points. And see... Lineman can't do anything. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. Jackson? Oh, he's trying to scramble. He ain't going nowhere. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They're just going to run the ball here. Ain't no way that there's really no reason for them to score here unless defense allows them to. But can we take... No, I mean, Lamar Jackson nearly had 100 yards on the ground, and Edwards over a buck 50. He's just going to add insult to the injury. Probably try to score here. I'm surprised they haven't kneeled. Probably because they're in the red zone or something. But man, look at this. They're just trying to get the touchdown for Edwards. Finally coming to an end, and really no shortage of big plays for us to examine, partner, on offense or on defense for this team. They were so well-rounded in this one. They certainly were, and how about the day those defenders had, though? How many takeaways did they have? I quit counting after a while. They were clearly the better team, and their defensive effort, it led the way. Man, no comments on that game. I mean, towards the end, we couldn't even stop... <laughs> Lamar Jackson, we couldn't stop uh, Gus Edwards, and we had a pretty good outing, a decent outing against the run game, um, actually the pass game for a while there, but man, it was one of the worst games that we've played, actually not very recent times because we played pretty bad not so long ago. Now, Geno Smith obviously didn't get his X Factor because he got hurt, he got hurt, and even when he came back, he looked a little sloppy, missed a little bit of a couple throws there that he in all reality should have hit. We did get a new injury, and that injury was, who was it? Abram Lucas with broken ribs, who's out for five weeks, and that just puts a lot of stress on that offensive line. Our offensive line, I mean, is, is really they're they're running thin we're running thin as far as the depth goes with our linemen and we're actually going to go ahead and take a look at our lineup to see exactly what that looks like so if you look at the lineup here we have jay curhan who's 61 overall on the left side protecting the blind side of the quarterback damien lewis i mean he's he's a pretty good lineman in my opinion but 
you know, look at the rest of this line. We have nobody, nobody, and I mean nobody protecting us. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of adjusting on the line and see what it is we can do because we got some key players out on the line with Charles Cross and Abram Lucas. And not to mention uh, DK Metcalf is out. We're starting to get hit with the injury bug. So let's see what we can go ahead and do. Recapping the game, they obviously got the better end of us. I mean, they had almost 300 offensive rush yards. What kind of stuff is that? But we did allow less than 250 pass yards. I mean, we had some pretty important breakups. We had some pretty important incompletions that we forced with Lamar Jackson just putting pressure and he just missed a couple throws here and there. So no complaining there. The, the pass yards, I'm that's not something I'm worried about. The offensive rush yards that we allowed is something I am, however. First downs, we didn't get 20 first downs. Look at the time of possession. They, they beat us by, I, I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. Turnovers, we were pretty even. I was pretty impressed by how defense just kept fighting. But at the end, you know, they just got gassed. I mean, even though we were on the field for around the same time, look at the rush yards. They just gassed the defense like no other. He had a pretty decent game, Lamar Jackson. He offset the interceptions that he threw with three passing touchdowns. Um, one of them during garbage time towards the end. But he also had 250 pass yards. Drew Locke, I honestly should have kept him in. Gus Edwards, 187 rush yards, three rushing touchdowns. I almost feel like they had to do that to get him an X-Factor. And then Lamar Jackson, almost 100 rush yards and one touchdown. That was simply... Zay Flowers had himself a pretty good game, over 100 yards. Mark Andrews, pretty good game as well. And Jake Bobo and, and JSN, both of these guys stepped up. The three wide receivers that we have really stepped up. And Ken Walker, the majority of the reception were given over to him, but nothing to show for. Got a couple of picks. I mean, Patrick Queen got two of them, so hats off to him. But Spoon got one, Bobby Wagner got one, and Jordan Brooks got one. Those were some pretty clutch ones. And Wosu got two sacks. That was pretty clutch, but Clowney got two as well. Three tackles for loss for Nwosu, two for Wagner. Aside from that, we couldn't do anything. Tackle-wise, you know, Patrick Queen had himself a game. Spoon had 12 tackles. I mean, with an interception and 12 tackles for a corner, that is a lot of tackles, if you ask me. Same with Diggs. Diggs was all over the place, especially at the beginning of the game, and so was Bobby Wagner. But, you know, what can you do with the gas defense? Not much. We're going to lose a lot of games if we continue to allow the much that much rush yards moving forward. But there you have it. Next week, we're going to go back home and play the Commanders. Maybe we can get a W here. We're probably not going to be favored by so much, but hey, you can only dream. It's your boy, Daddy Mac. Leave a like, and I'll see you guys for this next game for Week 10. <laughs>